Welcome back guys and today I'm going to show you how you can save 50 to 60 percent on your electricity bill while mining. Now there are two ways that you can do this and the first way is mostly by people using MSI afterburner and undervolting their GPUs and the second way is the way that I recently discovered purely by the accident and the second way that I discovered works actually even better than just undervolting your GPU by the biggest amount you can. So with this program that I have opened here, Hardware Info 64, we are actually going to see how much of electricity is our GPU using while mining. So over here you can see that right now we are using 66 watts on our GTX 180 Ti, which has TDP of 250 watts. So this is just while recording and doing nothing else, so GPU is mostly idle and it is using 65 watts. Now, if I wouldn't be recording, it would be using even less than that, but uh, while recording it uses 65 watts. Now, if we start mining with nice hash and we just start our miner, you will see that this will uh, go up almost to 250 watts of power consumption. So power consumption is stable at about 240 and 250 watts, and this is normal if you don't undervolt your GPU. Now I'm going to show you how to undervolt your GPU using MSI Afterburner. So let's just close NiceHash Miner and let's open MSI Afterburner. Now, you will have to play with it a little bit and to find out how much you can undervolt your GPU for it to be stable and to mine the most profitably. If you just want to, want to undervolt your GPU uh, by the most uh, that it will most likely be able to handle, you can just put it to about 70% of total TDP. So let's just put it to 70%. Let's click apply and let's start miner and see how much electricity are we using now. So before we were using 240 or 250 watts and now if we start mining you can see that we are using about 170 or 160 watts while mining. But if you open MSI Afterburner you can see that our GPU is actually throttling a little bit and it is between 1600 MHz. And if we don't throttle it, if we allow it to have the biggest power limit that uh, it has by default, it will go up to about 1800 MHz. So let's just put it back to 100 like it was before and you will see that it will go back to uh, 1800 MHz. So let's just click apply. So now our GPU is back to 1800 MHz and it is mining a little bit better than it was mining before but now our power consumption is back up to 240 or 250 watts of power consumption. Now, uh, this way actually works really great because some GPUs that you want to mine with will work perfectly fine if you undervolt them by 10, 15 or even up to 20%. You will actually save about 20% on the electricity, but you will actually mine 10% less, as you can see that I was getting so much lower speeds. Another way that I have found yesterday is actually pretty great, and it works with almost the same profits, but it uses a lot less electricity. So for this to work, we are going to have to use awesome miner, and I have awesome miner right here. And now when I uh, click start mining, you will see how much my GPU will use of electricity. So give it a few seconds to start up and it is currently at uh, 134 watts. So you can see that we are using only about 55% of the total TDP and that we are saving almost 50% on the electricity while still getting great results. Now if you open awesome miner again you can see that we are mining $1.62 now it's $1.97 and let's just give it a few seconds to stabilize and it should mine about two and a half dollars. So NiceHash was mining $4 uh, before uh, when we tested it, but that was just a fluke. It doesn't usually mine that much. It only mines $2.5 on average on 180 Ti. So you get almost the same results, but you actually save a lot more electricity because we are only using 130 to 145 watts of electricity. Now, uh, why does it work so well with Awesome Miner? It is actually because uh, we are using uh, Awesome Miner to mine on Lira 2Z algorithm. And this algorithm uses only a small part of electricity that some other algorithms would use. And to enable only that algorithm, you have to go over here to Options. And this screen will open. Go over here to Algorithms. Disable everything except Lira 2Z algorithm. And press OK. And you will be only mining Lira 2Z algorithm while using Awesome Miner. 
and I tested many different algorithms and this one seems to work the best and I accidentally discovered it and I will most likely only mine Lira 2Z while using Calso Miner because yes, I get about 10% lower profits than while mining something more profitable but I save so much on the electricity bill that it is actually more than worth it just to mine Lira 2Z algorithm which uses only 50 to 55% of the total TDP of a GPU and you don't have to undervolt your GPU because it won't do actually anything uh, you cannot go lower than about 130 watts on 180 Ti and it works really well with on Lira 2Z algorithm so it is a lot more stable than undervolting it and profits are almost the same so thank you guys for watching this video let me know what you think about it and how much you saved on your electricity bill by mining on Lira 2Z so see you soon in another one and bye